soccer here. We're basically going in on the debt elimination program right now, and it's absolutely horrible. It's immoral. It's bad policy. It doesn't achieve its own goals. It's it's got incredible moral hazard. Um, first of all, on the basic level, if you take out loans, you should have to pay it back. Second of all, um, the federal government doesn't have the money. We're drowning in debt. We have over twenty trillion dollars in debt. We're one, running trillion dollar deficits every year. Um, number three, it's um, the federal government shouldn't even be involved with student loans to begin with. Um, and these universities have run up administrative costs and tuition costs and textbook costs for textbook companies and everything on the back of student loans guaranteed by the federal government and forgiving them um, just does not make sense doesn't solve the problem the real problem is these universities and tuition and our culture surrounding how everybody should go to college and study some liberal arts degree and take out mad student loans to get it and that therefore the federal government should be making loans to people that'll never pay it back and it's just the whole system is messed up forgiving the loans basically does nothing to actually solve the underlying problems it just is a gigantic waste of money. And then it's immoral because you're making people that don't have a college degree through their taxes have to pay for people that do have a college degree. And so you're basically, you're ba basically making, making people that aren't going to eventually make as much money in the long term pay, give a huge giveaway to people that are going to have higher earnings over time. And so that's what this Forbes article is talking about with, a lot of people with a lot of student loans are doctors and lawyers and so even even if you take into account the um sort of limitations on income and limitations on debt forgiveness you're still going to have a lot of doctors and lawyers that are at the beginning of their careers or in or in portions of the career where they're not making a ton of money have debt forgiven by blue collar you know non-college degree workers and it's just completely unfair and the people that that took these loans out they actually have an asset now which is their college degree so they're still going to get the, their their college degree and yet they don't have to pay for it and the taxpayer has to pay for it which includes all kinds of people paying taxes for it it's com it's totally wrong that's that's immoral to take money from somebody who didn't go to college and immediately started a job and immediately started working and contributing to the economy and immediately went out and do a, did a trade or something and was really smart and made a bunch of money let's say over the over the years you're going to make him pay for somebody who went who went to college on university on student loans to study a liberal arts degree and get some degree that provides no overall benefit to the economy even you're looking at anthropology degrees and sociology degrees and political science degrees and english degrees and even some of the other t degrees but i won't get into them but those are some of the worst ones right there um and that's just completely wrong and these people that went to college and then took out all these huge student loans and were living first for tuition and living expenses um, and we're living the good life and partying through college and stuff meanwhile this other guy is working a trade like let's say he's an electrician or a plumber some guys working his butt off between 18 and 25 or 18 and the rest of his life working his butt off um, learning a trade and making money and contributing to the economy. Meanwhile, you've got some punk kid who's going to college, partying, smoking pot, drinking, going to football games, um, maybe has a part-time job, maybe doesn't, took out a bunch of student loans, studying you know, sociology for like five years. And now you're going to make some person who – learned to trade and, and didn't go to college and, and making money now you're gonna make him pay off the guy now with the sociology degree who is a punk kid that is so wrong and immoral that doesn't even pass the basic let's think about this for two seconds test it's unfair it's wrong and I can't believe liberals support it and it's just it's another example of liberals thinking oh well if it feels good do it um, you know let's Let's not think about the bigger picture. Let's not think about um, 
anything other than the first little step, the first initial step and whether that emotionally makes me feel good or not. And yep, forgiving student loans, that emotionally makes me feel good at, after thinking about it for two seconds. So therefore, I'm going to go for it. It's like you don't actually have to even think about this that hard to realize how many reasons and how bad of an idea this really is. Okay, so a final reason that student loan forgiveness makes no sense at all is because these colleges and universities aren't even providing a benefit to society that the taxpayer should even really be funding or promoting or doing in any way because they're all so liberal. They don't allow free speech on, on campus. Um, academia is hardcore left. They're eating away at the traditions and founding principles of America. And it's totally biased. It's partisan. It's political. It's brainwashing. And so it makes no sense that the taxpayer, all people, should be just funneling trillions of dollars in to forgiving people who made a choice to go to a university that's completely partisan and biased and, and doesn't allow free speech and doesn't support the Constitution of America and et cetera, et cetera. And so you're, in, you're indirectly supporting that. And, and this is another reason I think the federal government should, should be out, out of the student loan game at all. Like it, get out of it entirely. I don't think taxpayer money should be going to partisan, political, biased things. I don't think the federal government should be giving money to, you know, conservative think tanks or conservative colleges. And the fact of the matter is, the reality is that academia, universities, colleges, not all of them, vast majority of them that receive federal funding are doing a harmful thing to society by being so radical and so anti-American constitutional principles, period. And so... That's the reason not to forgive student loan debt, but it's also a reason for the federal government to stop subsidizing these institutions.